And Appleton did a wonderful job of handling this case of excited delay. Cool them as appropriate. They should be on an EKG monitor. Um, in the video you're about to watch, the police department and EMS folks in Appleton did a wonderful job of handling this case of excited delirium. The video starts with listening to the dispatch and uh, call taking information uh, from the patient's mother who called this in. Let's take a look. Auto gave me 911. Hi, uh, something's wrong with my son. I'm on 1103 South Jefferson. I don't know whether he got, uh, he's 29. I don't know whether he got on or something. He's just, um, very strange. I, okay, does he need an ambulance? What are you reporting? I, I, I don't know. He's just talking and talking and saying he's going to die and he's just making, like he's on something. I don't know. I don't know. Does he live there? Huh? Does he live there? Yes. Have you been drinking? I, I just got I just got home a little while ago, um, and took a shower. He was he was sleeping. I I, I think he must have. Did he use drugs? drugs? He he had he used to. He hasn't for he used to do marijuana. He hasn't for years. I don't know whether. I I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I mean, he keeps yelling and says he's dying. Does he say anything else? No, he just says I'm dying, mom. I'm dying, mom. And he's sitting there naked. Um, he certainly doesn't do that in front of his mother. Okay, we, we are dispatching help, okay? Yeah. I want you to tell me if he does anything else. Yeah, he's just kind of sitting on the floor screaming. But you don't know if he's used any drugs? I, I don't know. Okay. It sure looks like it, I don't know. Ninety-one twenty-eight and ninety-two eighteen. Ninety-one twenty-eight. Being a couple with a southern complaint. RP's twenty-nine-year-old son is acting strange, he's yelling, and does currently not have any clothes on. No weapons, unknown intoxicants, unknown drugs. Keeps screaming that he is dying. He's breathing heavily and has no clothes on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's a good old cross. Uh, Non-emergency at this point, just to stage in the area. Give them uh, the behavior signs we have at this point. I'll be in route as well. Can you talk to your caller just see if he has any past drug history or mental illness history? 9102, the only thing the RP is aware of is he used to use marijuana years ago. Okay. I'm in the area. I'm for What? Hi, it's As okay. I'm not. It's okay. As I'm not. It's okay. As I'm not. This is the last time. It's, it's okay. It's okay. But I'm going I, I understand. Not. Is it gonna die? Yeah. But I'm going to. Is it gonna die? But you're, I'm going you're to. Okay. Is I'm going to die? Ninety one hundred two restrict traffic. Beats. But it's it's okay. What is his name? Tim. Tim, we need to go to the hospital. But I'm going to 9102 wow, have gold cross come really up to the address one, because I'm 1033 at this point but I'm gonna hear the heartbeat yeah. of what's his first saying, name again oh I'm going Tim. to die Tim Tim but I'm going to lay down on the ground can you lay down for I'm me I'm going to die but Tim I'm going to Tim not and you understand now and isn't that fucking weird but I'm going to Tim is I'm gonna die but I'm gonna look around as Tim. if I'm gonna die, shivers gonna kind of run it up my Tim. side. Tim, it's okay, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am. At this point, let's just put the clothes away. Okay, this is a reaction to something. Okay, we'll get him to the hospital. 9102. Go ahead. Gold Cross, I believe we have an excited delirium case. I need them here. Tim, it's okay. Just relax, man. Just relax. I'm really gonna fart right now, and I'm gonna have it in that hand right there, and I'm gonna really gonna fart right now. And this 
this one. Wow. We get two to the the back and kind of come in that entrance, officers. Okay, in case we have, in case we have some movement. Um, I eventually, yeah. I think what we're gonna do is, if we get those two to the back and get them in here, once we do go go hands, they're probably gonna have to go to the feet, and then we'll get them on the right. board. We have the medics ready. Yep. Okay. They're at the sidebar. All right. All right. Let's move. Okay. All right. Just relax. Okay, get the medics up. Let's get them on. Get the medics up. Strap them onto the cot. Yep. We need you, to you guys got your okay? medicines? Okay, take deep breaths. Are we not going to do that? We need you to breathe. Hey, what's going on? It's all right, man. You're going to ask. You're going to ask. Did you take it? Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, Narcan and Helbo. Or, uh, yeah, Helbo. Uh, Tim. Let's do a half block. I'm a draw. I am. Yep. He said she's having mushrooms in the just yard. So get on his legs. Lay across his legs. Uh, you want to go on a you want to go on a board with him and then strap him and then get him out or what do you think? I think if we can wrap him in this blanket. I just don't want him to get free if he. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have him get the scoop stretcher. We can do that. Sure. As long as we can secure two with straps. Plenty of straps. But I gotta grab my balls. What? But I gotta grab my balls one last time. It's okay. I can feel. I can hear this one. It's weird. Even though it's okay, I'm gonna grab my balls. Is that okay? Yeah, Isn't we gotta get to okay? the hospital. Isn't that okay? Please, then, please then I tap my hand. Please, then I tap my hand. Please, then I tap my hand. Please, then I tap my hand. No, no, it's okay. Please, don't fight. And I please, then I tap my hand. I fought. Please, and I tap my hand. I fought. Please, then I thought. We're please, gonna, and we're I gonna get you to the hospital. Please, and I taught. Relax. Please, and I, last I time Relax. I shook and I taught my. Please, but I, I, please, please, please. Tim, we're gonna. Please, please, please. And last time I, 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 please, and I, last time I, grab my balls and I. Tim, 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 stop. And I, last time I, stop. Grab my balls and I shook. Please, and I, last time I, grab my balls and I shook. Please, and I, last time I, balls and I shook. Please, and I, last time I, grab my balls and I shook. Please, and I, last time I, please, and I, last time I, please, and I, last time I. Please, and I, last time I shook and I grab my balls. Please, and I, last time I shook and I grab my balls. Please, and I, last time I shook and I grab my balls and I shook. Please, and I, last time I shook and I grab my balls and I. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm a tender bus, come on, I'm a tender bus, come on. I'm a tender bus, come on, I'm a tender bus, come on. I'm a tender bus, come on, I'm a tender bus, no, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. This is what I'm about, though. Oh, I'm serious. It's okay. I'm serious. I'm fucking serious. This is what I'm about, though. No, I love you guys, though. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Nobody's going to hurt you. This is what I'm about. This is what I'm about. Nobody's going to hurt you. Come on. Nobody's going to hurt you. Just relax. Lay your head back and relax, Tim. Tim, lay your head back and relax. Kaboosh! Just, we're good. We're good. Kaboosh! Tim. Kaboosh! Tim, you're all right. Kaboosh! 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 Tim, Tim, you're going to hurt yourself. Tim, put your I don't want to die, though. You're not, you're not going, going to. to. Seriously, We're going to go to the hospital, bro. Seriously, though. We're going to go to the hospital. No. Good, good, good. No. This is what I'm gonna Does that break loose? This is what I'm going to die, though! No! 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 Tim, relax. Tim, Tim, relax. It's okay. Yes, it is. It's not okay. It's okay. It's not okay. It will be okay. You gotta calm down. Not okay. You gotta calm down. You gotta calm down. No, you're not. This is gonna die. We're going to the hospital. This is gonna die. This is gonna die. We're going to the hospital. No, no. Relax. No, no. This is gonna die, though. This is gonna die, though. Remember, your mom's all worried about you. Try to relax. We can help. Mom! That ain't gonna. Don't let him kill me! I love you, but this is gonna die, though. Okay. This one. All the meat I've eaten. I are forgive we, myself. Are we good on those arms? This is gonna be in a minute. You're satisfied? Mom! I mean, mom! 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 Um, should I do a handcuff also loose in, in case? Please, you're questioning from that? Liar! You liar! Out. All right. Liar! 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 You're the one! Liar! You're the one! Let's get him out of here. Broke his back with a shovel. Broke his back with a shovel. Grab a shovel. We have a shovel in the backyard. Grab a shovel and broke his back out.
Ooh. Mom, grab a shovel. Bumpers. You got it? Yep. I don't want to kill you. You don't want to kill me? I don't want to kill him. So you'll notice in this case that law enforcement and EMS really took their time. They had a very low key approach. They planned the care for this young man. They went in, surrounded him, had him well controlled, um, were talking him down, keeping him very calm while they did all the clinical care that was appropriate in a way that um, prevented the young man, the young man's mother, the EMS providers and the law enforcement folks from getting injured in the case of the scene. This is a textbook way that these kinds of cases should be handled. A couple of other things to think about uh, to be aware of when you're dealing with folks. If they're super violent, all of a sudden they get suddenly tranquil, that tends to be a precursor to a particularly violent explosion, something you want to be cautious about. So when you're dealing with folks, you want to pause, you want to look, you want to listen, and you want to smell to see what are the things that you can pick up that might allow you to provide better clinical care and increase your safety. The risk for violence is higher when people give you physical clues, like a stance like they're ready to fight, they've got physical tension, agitation in their face. Those are signs that things are about to get mixed up and you're gonna have some potential danger. If they have an inappropriate response to you and others, they think you're taking them to prison or using ray guns to penetrate their brain or any of those other kinds of crazy things, the risk that they're gonna lash out at you thinking that they're protecting themselves from aliens invading their brain goes up. Rapid tense speech and very fast gestures um, are an increased risk for danger for you. If they're super sweaty, flushed, and their heart rate's going fast and their breathing rate's going fast, that's a, a sign that an explosion is likely to occur. If they have particularly impulsive um, or dangerous behavior where they're cutting themselves, banging their head against the wall, any of those kinds of things. If your gut tells you that you're feeling afraid, I would encourage you to listen to that gut feeling. Also pay attention to the story provided by others. Um, family members and friends can tell you things that make you go, whoa, don't make the mistake of dismissing those when you're presented with somebody who's calm in this moment. The key to dealing with EDPs in general and excited delirium in particular is to have a really low intensity approach. You wanna be calm, you wanna be quiet, you wanna be in control, you wanna feel safe, but have a super high intensity awareness of how things can go bad and hurt you. That's it for this segment, stay safe.